Back to follow-up segment tonight, according to a new Siena College poll in New York State, 61% of New Yorkers oppose building a mosque near Ground Zero in Lower Manhattan. Just 26% think that's a good idea. And now we're hearing that some Muslims disagree with the proposed mosque. Joining us from Toronto, Rahil Raza, the author of the book, Their Jihad, Not My Jihad, and a board member of the Muslim Canadian Congress. So, Ms. Raza, why do you oppose building that mosque downtown? Well, I, I oppose the idea along with other members of the Muslim Canadian Congress because it's confrontational, it is in bad faith, and it doesn't uh, really set up any kind of dialogue or discussion on tolerance. Well, the uh, pro-mosque forces, including the mayor of New York City, say, number one, to deny the mosque would be a uh, you know slap in the face of freedom of religion, and number two, the reason that the community center mosque is wanted there by the Muslims involved is to show respect, respect for the victims of 9-11. You're not buying that? Well, no. As a Muslim, I'm not buying that at all. How does building a mosque uh, in, in the very place where Muslims murdered so many other Americans would uh, create any kind of respect? What I'm hearing from people, especially those who are victims and fam uh, who are family of, of the victims, is that this is very hurtful and it's very painful. And as a Muslim, I read in my holy book, the Quran, that we should not, we should be very sensitive towards people of other faiths, especially when we are living in lands that are not Muslim lands, and these are our neighbors and our colleagues and the people we care about. We don't show our caring for them by being intolerant. Uh, building a mosque or a place of worship in the particular spot across the street from Ground Zero is a slap in the face of all Americans. I mean, New Yorkers have um, experienced this pain, and the people who are behind this project are themselves Americans and New Yorkers. I can't begin to imagine how they would even conceive an idea that building a mosque there, which is an exclusive place of prayer for Muslims, would in any way build tolerance and respect. Major Bloom, Mayor Bloomberg and other bleeding heart white liberals like him don't understand the battle that we moderate Muslims are faced with in terms of confronting radical Islam and Islamization and political Islam in North America, which has only grown since 9-11 because of political correctness and people because of their politically vested agendas not speaking out against issues like this. What a great answer, Ms. Raza. I, I, I'm, I have to compliment you. That was about as articulate a uh, indictment of this whole crazy thing that I've heard. Some say... Well, that one doesn't hold back say, when hold, no, speaking listen, to I, I yeah. I'm complimenting you because it, you, you really you. well stated. That was very well stated. Some people say that this uh, Imam Raouf wanted to gloat wanted to put a um, mosque there to send a signal to radical Muslims that this was a victory. You buy on that? Well, it could be. Um, Imam Faisal Abdul Rauf has previously had a reputation for being a very pluralistic, visionary man. I will say that for him. So it came as a double surprise when I heard that he and his wife were the sort of brains behind this idea. But you know, a hundred million dollars can help people sell their souls. So who knows what goes in the minds of people? And the big question that we have also is, where is this funding f coming from? Was this a fundraising that took place in America? For no, they don't the have the money right year? now. So we're, we're actually well, watching that. This. Yeah. It's not going right. to get done. So I've said this from the beginning of the story. I don't think there's a construction crew in New York City, certainly not a union crew, that right. is going to work on this project. I don't think it's going to happen. But I respect you. Uh, coming on, Ms. Raz. I know how difficult it is, and there are some in your community who will condemn you for doing it, but you, you really nailed it. This is about sensitivity. It's about Muslims yeah. obeying the Koran uh, and going Absolutely. out of their way to be hospitable to people who, you know, may feel pain in a certain measure. Thanks, Ms. Raza. We appreciate Absolutely. it very much.